house on Trestlewood. They did a nice job on the entrance there. Added stonework to it. And this is what the neighborhood looks like. They're all very similar homes. A lot of these have converted their garages into living space, some of which have been done legally and some of which have not. Straight at the end of the street, you can't quite see it, there is an elementary school. There is some damage to the concrete here. You can see the tree roots. It's a great big tree. Looks like the tree roots has caused some buckling in the concrete. And there it is. The concrete has some damage. All right, in this main living area, there is the wood stove, which qu appears quite nice. It does have popcorn ceiling. And these are the ceiling vents that have been added. Again, it does have vinyl windows. There's a lot of discoloration here. This is where I was telling you there is discoloration. That appears to be wiring that may have gone to baseboards. Uh, that is some, you can see the black on the outlet. Something here has been smoking on this wall because it is quite discolored. Okay, so again, that is the living area. Closet here in the hallway. There is some sheetrock damage here. Floors are a bit uneven, somewhat to be expected in a house of this age. They, they've redone and put tile floor here in this bathroom. It looks like a newer toilet as well. The tub's around is tile. It appears to be fine. Over here is the water heater. Again, they just set it right on the floor. They didn't put it in a pan, which is kind of weird. Back behind the door, there is an older mirror and vanity with a newer rod, which is kind of interesting. There is the vanity and the toilet. Okay, here is bedroom number one. You can see where the Baseboard heaters have been removed here. That's where the wiring is. Again, it has vinyl windows. Some holes in the sheetrock that need repaired. Painting throughout, of course, and carpet. Bedroom number two, same thing. That was a baseboard. You can kind of see where the discoloration, and they also had it, had cut away the trim. And again, this is where the repairs they've added ducting in the ceiling, so my guess is there must be a furnace in the attic, but there's no guarantee of that. Same thing here. You can see where that was painted around. Crawl space access here. Doesn't look like there's any water down there that I can tell, but who knows. Again, in the kitchen, this appears to be peel and stick tile. Pretty cheap. Uh, there's quite a bit of discoloration here to this patio door. Not sure if it can be painted or not. Hopefully so. Okay, so here's the kitchen area, room for a stove. Cabinets appear to be okay. They're newer. Double sink dishwasher and this would be the room for the garage for the refrigerator over here okay so this is the illegal conversion there is you can tell because there's a step down here it would be all the same level if they had raised the floor and insulated which they have not um, this is where the washer dryer is here and again discoloration all over the place it looks like smoke discoloration, but who knows what that came from. 
probably would only know if an inspector got up in the attic. Okay, so here's looking back into the kitchen from this small room. There is a door outside. 